At that time, in the late 80s, I was a student in a program called the Human Capacities Program with a teacher named Jean Houston. A group met twice yearly for two weeks over three years, so a total of 12 weeks. We students, about 130 of us, traveled from around this country and from across the world to study with this powerful teacher and also to learn from one another. In the session before our final session, Jean asked us to each prepare some sort of project to present during our last time together. And what I chose to do was this. I made an index card for each person in the program, a card with just their name on it, and I placed this deck of 130 cards on my altar at home, and most mornings in the next five months, I drew from that stack one card, and I named the person whose name I drew my netter for the day. Now, netter is a word you may remember if you read my book on soul collage. What it essentially means in this process is any guide or ally or even challenger who comes into a life and makes a difference. Actually, the word is found in ancient Egyptian lore, and there it seems to have meant any of the many gods and goddesses who were present in the lives of humans, doing what gods and goddesses usually do, helping people, guiding people, challenging people, sometimes interrupting people and giving them strange and difficult tasks or missions. Later, after I had been using the word netter for some time, I actually researched more about it, trying to discover how it was used back in that ancient little-known culture. I discovered then that netter was also a name given to that formless, mysterious source out of which all these diverse divine netters came, and back into it to which they returned. I was amazed. Here in this five-letter word, netter, N-E-T-E-R, was encapsulated the paradoxical unity of the one and the many, which for me is a basic concept of soul collage. Netter means both the one source and also, at the same time, the many beings that spring from source and who intervene to fashion and guide and love our souls. Originally, and for many years, this process, which you now know as soul collage, was named the netter card process. People made netter cards and came to netter groups and called one another netters. Some actually still do.